Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is BGFH and I am back for another accessible iOS game review or spotlight video. This is a game that I just started tinkering around with the other day. Um, I've owned, actually as you'll see as I open the, uh, <clears throat> I have a lot of different folders for games on my iPhone. I kind of have even the accessible games. I have a folder uh, just for like audio games that are self-voiced and then I have a separate version, uh, separate folder for accessible games which you know may not be self-voicing and all that stuff but still use voiceover uh, to provide accessibility so as you will see when I open up this um, accessible games folder I have a lot of games here um, some of which I have covered some of which I have not some of them I haven't even played yet I've just you know I hear about them on Applevis or somebody talks about them and I you know I want to play them I just you know like I said there's like 18 things uh, 18 just tons of things just vying for my time right now um, so I'm trying to get into and like I said I want to do more variety Accessible games folder. on the channel so, you know, I mean, I do cover a lot of, you know, it's going to be a lot more of the low vision spotlight kind of stuff because that's typically what I play. I play majority uh, mainstream games. But I, I, like I said, I don't want to forget PC games, accessible games when I can find them. Um, there's a lot more of these accessible games and audio games on iOS, so I want to try to include those. But uh, anyway, the game we are going to look at this time is called A Dark Room. And it's kind of unique, actually. Let's uh, pop open accessible games folder. the Seven game maps. here. Um, <clears throat> Opening accessible games folder. Accessible games. Heading. Text field. So <laughs> here's my folder. Blind full page two of two. Accessible games. A dark room. So as Double you can tell, I have two um, two screens in my accessible games folder, um, almost full. And uh, like I said, there's some that I just even have to get around to playing. Period. So, let's go into page 2 of 2, a dark room. A dark room. Double tap to open. A dark room. So, room to update. Oh, okay. What do we got here? Enabled. Accessibility help can be accessed through a menu button located in the top right corner. New help information will be available throughout your journey. Given the number of notifications that can occur, it's best to interact with the game using swipes and double taps. Good luck. Now, we are going to cheat that a little bit because I do have some vision and I'm going to be able to like I said for the sake of time. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of direct touch typing. I'll swipe a little bit in the beginning just to kind of show you how the interface is. But then to speed things along, I will actually just, you know, look and tap where the buttons are. So it tells you that accessibility mode is enabled. Okay, and this game is pretty dang accessible. Um, there's only one little thing that I found is a little bit... There's a couple minor, minor little glitches, but I'll explain those as I, as I go. It's nothing really that impacts playability, though. So, okay. 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 The fire, a firelight room, heading. Okay, so. The room is warm. The room is warm. Um, I'm gonna stoke the fire, stoke fire here. 100%. Stoke update. There we the go. Now our screen is bright again. Okay, so a dark room. Uh, I'm pretty dang far along in this game. At least as far as my base is concerned. So, what this is, is, you know, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, the room is hot. It's kind of a... At first, I, I thought it was kind of like a clicker kind of a thing, where, you know, the games were basically, you get a resource, you tap a button every so often when the meter fills, and then you get something, and then you get other things that collect things for you and you're trying to basically build um, build up your thing build up your base or whatever mechanic it is just by filling a bunch of meters and it, like I said I was kind of mistakenly thinking that the game was like that but then it really started to branch out a little bit and there's actually more to it than I thought so you start out and all you have is you start out in a dark room and all you have is near the top of the screen. Stoke fire at 100%. Button. You have a little bit of wood and you have to stoke this fire. 
and that's all you know. Well, then all of a sudden this lady comes in or stumbles in and she's not really coherent. Um, you, you know, go get more wood for the fire to keep it going. She wakes up. You get to be... Um, and then she turns into like a builder. So then you start building things and it turns out you're actually building a little village. And then the more you do the more things appear on this main screen. So, I, you know, filling up meters and collecting resources. And eventually, if you build it up enough, it will let you journey outside of the village, and then you have to explore this big map, which we'll get to in a little bit. So, I'm going to start at the top of the screen. Rockus Village button. Ruckus Village. Now, it starts out like a small village, or I, I, I don't even remember what it said. Um, Update. The fire is burning. Yeah, so the fire went down again. Stoke fire at 100%. Stoke fire. <clears throat> fire is roaring. Stoke fire at 20%. So, Iraq's village button. There's my village button. That will take me to some resources we're going to go to in a minute. The dusty path button. A dusty path. This is where I go to actually explore in this game. Stoke fire at 100%. All I'm doing is swiping, so stoke fire. I want to keep that lit because I think if the fire actually goes out, like monsters come and get you, I don't know what happens, but I'm far enough along in the game where I really don't want that to happen. Because if I get game over, I'm going to be pissed. Supplies. Button. Supplies. This tells me what supplies we have. We'll go back there in a second. Visit Builder. Button. Visit Builder. That's where I build, like, most of the things I've actually built now. Visit Merchant. Oh, we got a random a event here. Into view. A Nomad shuffles into view. Laden with makeshift bags bound with rough twine. Won't say from where he came. The prices are good, however. Four options. Okay, what do we get? Buy scales, 20 fur, button. Uh. Buy teeth, 30 fur. Buy bait, 10 fur, button. Buy teeth, 30 fur, mm. button. Turn away, button. Buy, t buy scales, 20 fur, but Buy teeth, 30 fur, button. God, I don't know what I need. Um. Buy scales, 20 fur, button. Buy teeth, 30 fur, button. Buy scales, 20 fur, button. Sure, we'll buy some buy scales, why not? The deal is done. He turns and walks away without saying a word. One option. Leave button. Okay. And I just kind of swipe to the right, and then it says leave button. Okay. Leave. So periodically... 20 fur. Periodically... Um, receive 10 scales. Yep, so receive 10 scales. So I'll get to there in a second. So periodically you'll see these random dialog boxes come up with, like, random events. Um, so we were visit on builder, visit builder. Visit merchant button. Visit merchant. That only appears once you actually build your output, your trade post. Visit workshop. Button. Visit workshop. That only appears once you get far enough along, and I forget what triggers that, but you have to earn that ability to unlock that. Reset game. Button. Reset game. Absolutely not. History received. Ten scales. Lost. Twenty fur. The fire is roaring. The fire is burning. So now here is your history, or Reset your game. history. Received. Yeah, history. Ten scales. This is always at the bottom of the screen. So the bottom third or so, if you ever want to know kind of what is going on or what you received when you did something or what you lost when you did something or what happened, you just tap this and it will start playing the, you know, whatever you're doing in uh, reverse order. So your latest thing will happen first and then you'll just go back in the timeline. So let's go back to my village here because I want to collect me some resources. Village. Now I go to my other screen here, and we got a whole mess of things here. Now, no matter what screen we're on, we still pretty much have, except for one or two screens that I can think of, um, you always have your history. history. Received. So I can always touch down there and see if something happened or whatever. But at the top of this screen... Cart wood at 100%. Button. Cart wood at 100%. Now, you it, it, right away, you only can carry wood, so you can't Update. carry much. The fire is burning. But you... Um, you early on you can build a cart, which I highly recommend. The room is warm. Cart wood at five. Cart wood at five percent. Okay, and then the next one. Plus eighteen wood. Check baits at one hundred percent. Check baits at one hundred percent. Eighty-six baited traps contain two tattered cloth, one hundred scraps of fur, forty bits of meat, twenty-six strange scales, four scattered teeth. Check traps at four percent. So these are all basically now. What happens is is. When you start building your village, um, when you go to the building tab, and let me go back to the 
Let me stoke my fire again. And you notice if, you're, if your vision, uh, if you have any low vision, um, the screen is really bright now. And you want, I, I pretty much try to keep it bright just because I want to keep it that way. So let's go back to my village. So, okay, let's do that again. Oh, we got another random event here. So, he smiles warmly and asks for lodgings for the night. Two options. Yeah, sure. Yes, 50 cure meat, 100 fur, one torch button. Okay. Yeah. In exchange, the wanderer offers his wisdom. Two oh. options. Ooh, I get another perk. Evasion button, strength button. Let's do a strength. Str I want to wreck stuff. The master teaches strength. One option. Leave. Button. All right. Leave. Cool. Plus a rockless village. Back button. So I got a couple perks. I'll explain that. Like I said, there's a lot of... There's a lot of dense stuff that I have to explain in this game. It starts out very simple, but then there's a lot of stuff that you start having to pay attention to and manage. So if I touch my history again, the room is hot. Learn to swing weapons with force. Yeah. Lost. Fifty cure meat. One hundred for one torch. Okay. And if I would have, if I wouldn't have had the resources, it wouldn't have let me do that. I've actually ran into a situation where that was the case. So if I go back up here, cartwood again, once you double tap that button, the meter just starts automatically filling. Do that again. Now, so the thing is, now it's already filled at 4%. What's going to depend on, it's going to depend on how many people you've attracted to your village by building huts. And it's going to depend on how many people you assign to certain tasks once you have the different resources and buildings available. So most of the people, when they come in and they settle in, they just start as scavengers. So <clears throat> in the upper right-hand corner, I have a little box. 80 of 80, slaves, 80 of 80, pot count, 20 of 20, trap count, 30 of 30. So I've maxed everything out. You start out with, like, it's, it's a struggle just to kind of afford some of the stuff in the beginning but once you get a lot of settlers coming in and the main resource that I find to struggle keeping up with at least in parts of the game is wood because you need that to build a lot of stuff and you, the more you build of a thing like huts and traps you, you have to the number increases every time but I have slaves 80 of 80 pot count 20 of 20 trap count 30 of 30 so I've maxed everything out there everything when there are periodic events where somebody will invade your thing or like a monster will come in and you'll defend it and you'll lose a few settlers, but then over time they'll come back. So by default, when they come into your village, they are... Check traps at 100%. Oh, let's Button do that again. Update. Since I'm here anyway, 100%. I want to keep Cartwood collecting my resources. Supplies are plus 18 wood. Supplies are... Supplies are brought every 10 seconds. Okay. Gather account, 68, update. So 68, um, the, I have more people than that, but the reason that it's at 68 is because I've, I've allocated some other people um, to other tasks, which I'll get to after I go back and stoke my fire again. Okay, Rockus Village, now we'll leave off here. 68, now if I flick to the right from here, now your gatherers are going to click... I thought it, I, I thought dis, do not disturb um, turns off emails too. Interesting. Anyway, um, so hunter count gather account sixty eight. They will wood every ten seconds. Right, every ten seconds I get sixty eight wood, which is super helpful. Cart wood at one hundred percent. Cart that again. Check tra plus eighteen wood. Check, Check traps. One hundred percent. All right. So now if I gather flick account. right from gather account. Hunter count eight plus eight fur plus eight meat every ten seconds. Now, once you start unlocking, like there is, um, when we go into the build tab or the build screen, I'll show you the different places that we can unlock. But once you start unlocking other pieces of the village, some of the traps have been torn apart. Large prints lead away into the forest. Two options. Okay. Track them. Button. Track them. Why not? Tra not far from the village lies a large beast. It's fur matted with blood. It puts up little resistance before the knife. One option. Okay. Go home button. Go. And now because of that, I will. I will. One hundred meat. One hundred fur. Yeah. Feet. There we go. And that's happened to me a few times. So now I don't have as many traps. Slaves. 
80 of 80, pot count, 20 of 20, trap count, 26 of 30. Okay, so I got to build four traps, which I can do pretty quickly. Because I have, like I said, I'm building up my resources. Um, hunter count, eight. So hunter eight count, if I flick to the right, allocate hunter, button. allocate hunter. Now this draws out of the pool of Gatherer count, gatherers. So when they come into your village, they're gatherers. If you want to divert them to be a different trade, hunter count, eight, plus like a hunter, plus eight, or you'll see some other ones here in a second. Allocate hunter, the allocate hunter, I can deallocate a hunter if I want to switch them over to be a gatherer or some other uh, resource gatherer. Trapper count. One, I could be. I could make him a meat, trapper. One allocate trapper count one minus one meat plus one, allocate the allocate trapper. Tanner count two. Tanner. Ten first, it's plus gives me every ten seconds. So it tells you exactly what they do. Allocate tanner button. And those numbers change depending on how many you have allocated. So like it'll be five for one, ten for two, etc. The allocate shark ear count one minus five meat minus five wood plus one cured meat every ten seconds. So that guy is gonna cure the meat so it doesn't spoil. Allocate shark duty button. The allocate shark duty button. I'm not sure what he's saying. Deca um, I'm not sure what you call that. <laughs> Voiceover says it really weird. History received update. The nope. fire is burning. History. And then we're at our the history again. Burning. Received 100 meat, 100 fur. So there's my history of when we uh, had to. All right, so let's go back to our. Me so this is basically your village screen. The main thing you have to come back here. At 100%. When you're at home, I just pop in here every probably minute or so. Hit these top two buttons on the upper left here to, to give my traps and my um, carding wood. Let's go back. Let's get this fire back up. Now we're going to go to supplies. I'll show you what kind of supplies we get here. So you, again, you start out with very little. Um, wood. Yeah, all right, we got some wood going on here. Um, okay, we're doing good there. Meat, 1341, oh, nice. Scales, 457. Teeth, 93. Cloth, 20. Bait, 43. Leather, 550. Okay, nice. Cured meat, 453. Iron, 3. Steel, 1. Oh. A, a wanderer arrives with an empty cart. Says if she leaves with furs, she'll be back with more. Builder's not sure she's to be trusted. Three options. Mm. Let's... I have... I forget how much fur it, it said I just had. Small gamble, 100 fur. Button. Let's do a small gamble. Small. The Wanderer returns. Cart Ooh. high with fur. Nice. Motion. Thank Wanderer. Button. Okay. Th two update. Supply lost. 100 fur. You gonna tell Received. me? 300 fur. Oh, dang, I wish I would have done the large gamble. I did that one other time, and somebody else came to my village, and they just took off with a bunch of wood. Um, so I lost a whole, I think I lost like 500 wood or something. It was ridiculous. Or no, I, I lost the small one because he didn't have enough to gamble with the 500. That's what it was. So, other 550. nice. Meat, 453. And that's going to come in handy when I have to start building things. Iron, th steel, one. Iron, three. Iron, three. Steel, one. Compass, 1. Torch, 9. Bone Spear, 4. Volas, 11. I'm not sure what that is. Volas? Bone Spear, Volas, 11. Water Skin, 1. Got my Rock Sack, 1. Okay. Leather Armor, 1. Leather Armor, 1. Okay, so it still does say I have the Leather Armor, huh? Because it wouldn't let me equip it last time. That's interesting. So there's my supplies. A fire -like room. Let's go back to my village and collect real quick. So I'm just doing this really quickly by tapping. Okay, we're going to go back. So now let's go look at our... Visit builder. Button. Visit builder. Visit builder. Now again, most Backbutton. everything except for traps now I have Trap built. So let me flick live. through. Cart. Can't build any more of these. Button. Cart. I can only build one of those. Trap. Cost. One hundred forty wood. Button. So I got to build more. Let's do that. Trap. Buy. One hundred forty wood. Button. Buy. And I think I had to build four. Trap. Cost. One hundred. Trap. So. Buy. One hundred forty-five wood. Button. Buy. Yep. So we got plenty of wood for that. That's not an issue. Trap. Buy one hundred. Let's just max that out right now. Cost. Trap. Buy one hundred. Buy. Okay, I think we're maxed out now. So we have on this screen we have these buttons for cart. Can only buy one of those. Trap. Can't build any more of these. Can't build any more because we're maxed. Hut. Can't build any more of Hut. Those get expensive. I think the top one was like a couple, 
thousand wood or twelve hundred wood or something like that. Lodge. Can't build any more. A lodge, that's your hunting lodge, so you can allocate hunters. Trade post. Can't build any Trade more posts. Button. That's where you can build your uh, your market or whatever. Tannery. Can't Tannery, build you can build uh, your leather leather and other Dang. resources. Now you get steel burning. and stuff. Smokehouse. Can't Smokehouse, you can get your button. cured meat there, so it doesn't spoil. Workshop. Can't and your workshop. So I've built everything. The only thing is if... Um, if traps go down or some other travesty happens to my village, back button. let's go back, back and stoke my fire button. again. Fire at Update. The fire is now let's go fire. Visit, merchant. Button. visit merchant. I'll show you what's visit in merchant. here. Back button. Update. Cost. Five meat. Button. So this is where you can turn some of your resources into other types of resources. Now, for some of the basic stuff like leather and a couple other things, you can use your initial crew that come in the like room is hot. my tanner um i can use him to convert um pelts or whatever i can convert those into furs into leather compass. can't trade for any more of these i built buttons. a compass already teeth. cost 30 fur button all right teeth gales teeth cost 30 fur how do you turn fur into teeth that's what i want to know that's an interesting art form. Scales cost thirty fur. Button. Scales. Cure meat cost thirty meat. So I've got my other guy doing that. So I don't have to do that too much unless I'm really running low and I need some supplies when I go out on a journey. Other cost twenty five fur. Leather. I've got quite a bit of that now. I was struggling to get that for the longest times because I wanted to build some leather armor and it was like two hundred, I think. Rollers cost ten teeth. Button. Okay. Iron cost. 30 fur, 5 scales, button. Uh, you know what? I'm going to build some of that Iron. because... By 10, 300 fur, 50 scales, button. Let's see if I have enough for that. Update, merch, traded oh, stores for iron. Let's see. History, traded stores for iron. Okay, the so now i got hot. an iron. The fire is roaring. I want to see if I can build a... When I get warm. to the other thing, I want to see if the I can... The fire is burning. More Hush. I want to see if I can get an iron sword instead of my stupid spear, bone spear. Cure meat. Um, iron, iron, cost, steel, cost, 30 fur, five scales, five teeth, button. Okay, let's see if I can build some steel, steel too. Buy, 30 fur, five scales, five teeth, buy, update, merchant, traded no. stores for steel, history, traded stores for steel, traded stores for iron, the room is hot. Okay, so there's my history, so that's all we can build in here right now. Back button. Let's go back. Back button, a firelit room, heading. And visit workshop. let's button. go visit our workshop, the last visit of our workshop. little Back areas Buttons. here. Torch, torch, cost, one wood, one cloth. Button. All right, so one wood, one cloth, I can make a torch. Water skin, can't craft any Water more skin, I've already got one. Rucksack, can't craft any can't, more of I've got that button. all done. Leather armor, can't craft any more of these. I've got button. that. Bone spear, cost, 100 wood, five teeth, button. So I can build more of those. Button. I don't know if they presumably break. Or if you can, like, get other people to follow you eventually. Uh, let's go stoke the fire again. Hold on. Stoke fire at 100 per update. Actually, let me go to my village again and let me mine a few more. Check traps at 100 per check traps. Check traps. 30 traps contained. Cart wood at 100 per cart wood. Cart wood. All right, we'll go back. So this is what I'm saying. You can flick, but once you know where things are, if you have some vision, you can quickly. Visit workshop. Let's go back into our workshop here. Back button. Items, torch, water skin, uh, leather. So armor. one of the things that's weird is when you go into a new this is one of those minor bugs or minor weird things. When I go into an area, and especially if I'm kind of impatient where I've I've I know the interface now and I just want to get to the button that I want, sometimes you have to be a little bit more patient because what happens is you touch one of the buttons and voiceover will just start reading the whole kind of the screen. Again, so I'll touch maybe like the third button over Rock here. Sack. Can't craft any more of these. But when I first load the page, it will just try to start reading, and then I'll just have to touch the button again for it to stop reading. Um, I'm not sure why it does that. It's not a big deal, but it's just one of those things that you have to kind of know that the game does. Leather armor, bone spear, iron sword, cost 200 wood, 50 leather, 20 iron, need 7 iron, button. Oh, I need 7 iron. I wonder if I can build more iron. Task cost 
30 leather, 20 iron, need, 7 iron, button. Oh man. Wagon, cost, 200 wood, 50 iron, need, 37 iron, button. Son of a... Okay, iron is clearly the thing I'm at a lack of. I really want a wagon. Because then I can carry a whole bunch more stuff. Iron armor, cost, 30 leather, 100 iron, need, 87 iron, Bleh. Button. Okay. Steel sword, cost... 500 wood, 100 leather, 20 steel, need, 18 steel, button. Oh man, I could just forego the iron sword and go right to the steel. But if when I do that, do I only earn one steel at a time? I mean, I can find steel out in the wild. But the problem is I have to, I think the first thing I really should try to get Mm, I want maybe I do need to get the iron iron sword, but I really need that freaking wagon because you only can carry 200 weight and update the room is warm. You fill that up so quickly just by carrying your weapon, your water skin, some meat and then you try to carry anything back with you, you don't have enough room to do it. Back button. Back button. Okay. Stoke fire at 100 per Stoke fire Let me update. go back the to visit merchant button. Uh, b -b 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 yeah, merchant. Mer merchant. Back button. Let me see. Iron cost 30 fur, five scales button. Now, does that don't actually let me go back. Back button. Up, back button. Let me look fire. at my ar supplies. 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 Bone spear. Bolas. Bone. Torch. Not compass. One. Steel. Two. Iron. 13. Okay, iron is 13 right now, so if back I go button. back and build another back iron. Visit merchant button. Visit How many does it give me? Just one? I iron cost. Do I have enough? Buy 30 fur, five scales. Buy merchant back button. Update. Traded stores for iron. Traded stores for iron. Now let's go back, back to my button. supplies. Back button. A fire lit room. Supplies. Button. How many does supplies. it give me? Because I wish in that status update, I wish it would tell me how much. Because it tells me like what I need, like it, when, before I craft it or before I trade for it, it tells me how much resources I need to build the iron. But when I get it, the history doesn't tell me how much iron I receive. Compass one, steel two, iron fourteen. Owie, that's expensive, man! Holy crap! Yeah, so I'm only building one. I built seven to get, actually. Back button. God. Back button. A fire lit room heading. Visit workshop. Uh, let me go into the village again real quick. We'll ex we'll get out of the village here in a little bit here. Check traps at 100%. But what I'm I'm just harvesting my meters while I can. Um, visit workshop. I want to see how much wagon. Items, torch, water skin, rucksack, leather armor, bone spear, iron sword. Hush. See. Cost 100 water tank. Oh, water tank. 100 iron. 50 steel. I missed that. Six iron, 48 steel. Button. Wait, what? Water tank. Cost 100 iron, 50 steel. Need 86 iron, 48 steel. Button. Son of a. Wagon. Cost 200 wood, 50 iron. Need 36 iron. Button. Ooh. Ouch. Okay, I need a. L <laughs> I needed a lot more than seven. Task. Cost 30 leather, 20 iron. Need. Six iron button. Uh, a, a cask. Iron sword. Cost two hundred wood. Fifty leather. Twenty iron. Need six iron button. Ugh. Own spear. Cost one hundred. God, maybe I will just venture out with what I have and see if I can loot any more something nearby and get some iron because the problem is I really, really want that wagon. Because right now I can't carry crap. A fire -like room. Heading. So we're not going to leave just yet, but button. we are going to go to the dusty path. Okay. Stoke fire at 100%. Stoke fire at 100%. Let fire me the village. go back the to my village. Collect this. Cartwood. At Cartwood. At back Get those meters back done. -like dusty path. Now if I go to the dusty path, path. okay, now this screen, button. I have... Embark at 100 percent. Button. Embark at 100 percent. So we're ready to go. New perks. Button. New perks. What do New I got perks, in there? Perks, so now I should have button. two perks. Yes, I do. Precise. Land blows more often. Barbarian. Melee weapons deal more damage. Right, because remember early on in the video where that uh, 
the guy came in and taught me and I took or I gave him shelter and then they then he uh, taught me strength because I chose to learn that from him. So I've gotten a couple of perks. Button. So if another villager comes in, maybe I can get my third perk. Um, embark at so I got my embark. Button. View perks, button, equipment and navigation tools, rucksack, current embark weight, 150 out of 200. Water skin, holds, 20 water, leather armor, gives 30 hit points, compass. So I've got leather armor right now. Um... See, I'm already at 150, but I need, if I flick to the right, cured meat, weight contribution, 120, amount, 12. So I've got 12 cured meat with me, that's meat that won't spoil. Add cured meat, button. So I don't want to add, but... Remove cured meat, bone spear, weight contribution. That's the only weapon I have. One. So I have add bone spear. one of those, Remove but I have, spear. I've built button. a couple other ones in case, I don't know if they break eventually. Torch, weight contribution, 10, amount, 1. Torch. I only have one of those with me, but I, ha I think I have one or two other ones built. Add torch button. Remove torch. Bolas. Weight contribution zero. Amount zero. I'm not. For some reason, I just went stupid. I'm not sure what, what they were talking about. Volus. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Um. I guess we can venture out. So basically, just like on the villager screen. If you have, if you go to the workshop and if you go to, yeah, mainly the workshop where you build like your torches and your armors and your weapons, you can choose which things to bring with you. Um, so the fire is burning. here's the thing. Um, before we head out, what I always do, because it seems like when you're gone, it also takes effect. Your fire burns down over time. So the last thing that I will do prior to leaving my camp or my village is to stoke the fire so I can try to be out longer. Now, I don't know if it tells you the on the one. map screen how what level your fire is at so you can try to rush home. Back button. Let's back go back. Fire lit room. Stoke fire. Oh, what do we got here? A nomad shuffles into view, laden with makeshift bags bound with rough twine. Hmm. Won't say from where he came. The prices are good, however. Four options. By scales, 20. By teeth, 30. By bait, 10 fur. Button. <sighs> History. The room. By teeth, 30. Sure, let's buy button. teeth. By the deal is done. He turns and won't leave. I want button. somebody to sell me some steel or some iron, dang it. A fire lit room. Alright, now we are gonna. 30 fur. History. Received. Received. 10 teeth. Well, yeah, that wasn't a really good trade, but okay, whatever. Stoke fire at so we're gonna stoke. To update. A dusty path button. A dusty, a dusty path, 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 and we're going to set out really fast. Two finger double tap, magic tap for map, navigation controls to move north, south, east, and west located at the bottom. Swipe right to navigate to them. Yeah, so what he said. <laughs> um, now, I have a map in the main part of the screen, and lower right I have my up, down, left, right, kind of like an upside down T like you'd have on a computer. And in the lower left I have little statuses. But that's the one bug that I don't like, is I can't just, I can't flick to it, and I can't explore by touch to read those. The only way that they are read is, let's go to the east. Move east, magic tap for map, move east, magic tap, new landmarks, water, 19.0 units, food, 12 units, compass, points northwest, unexplored, 8 clicks north, unexplored, 4 clicks south, unexplored, 3 clicks east, unexplored, 10 clicks west, roads, 2 clicks west, roads, 1 click north, 1 click west, roads, one click south, one click west, village, one click west, outpost, two click south, one click west, outpost, one click north, two clicks west, cave, four click south, one click west, cave, two clicks north, four clicks west, Good outpost, God. Click north, five clicks west, iron mine, four clicks north, oh, two clicks west, oh. cave, six clicks north, one click east, terrain, forest. Okay, east. shut up. There, <laughs> so it's telling me all kinds of, and I, I almost, actually, let me double, let me do my magic tap here. Oh, okay, so it brings... I haven't done this before. Food, 12 units. Compass. Points north. World. Heading. Water. 19. Compass. Unexplored. Unexplored. Four clicks south. Unexplored. Three clicks east. Unexplored. Okay, so I can... Oh, I wonder if... Hold on. I wonder... Uh... Water. World. Heading. How do I go back? Okay, let me... Okay, I can do the scrub gesture to go back. I am going to go back to my village, and I'm going to try to double tap, because I wonder if, 
to move west, magic path for map, button, update, a dusty path, back button, a safe return. So I'm going to go stoke my fire again, but what I'm curious is if I, yeah, rather than going, fire is burning. wow, rather than going, you know, east, east, south, south, whatever, I wonder if I can just, when I bring up that okay. list, if Never I can fast down. travel to one of those or if I just have to do it. Back button. So I'm going to go back. back a fire room. Stoke fire at 100%. Stoke Up fire. The fire is roaring. A dusty path. We're going to leave. A dusty, a dusty path. Back button. Equipment and navigation tool. Equipment and navigation hey. tools. Embark at 100%. Okay, we're going to embark. Two finger double tap. Magic we're going to tap. Unexplored. Nine. Swipe right. Compass. Points northwest. Unexplored. Five clicks south. Unexplored. Four clicks east. Unexplored. Nine clicks west. Unexplored. Four clicks east. Four clicks east. Let's do that. Unexplored. Four clicks east. Okay, so it's just telling me I don't think I can fast Unexplored. travel. Four clicks east. Unexplored. What if I... Roads. One click west. Roads. One click west. Okay, yeah, so I don't think... Two finger double tap. Mag move west. Let me go west. Magic tap. Move west. Magic tap. Water. 19.0 units. Food. 12 units. Move east. Magic tap for map. A dusty path. Okay, yeah. So I, I did Save confirm. I, I was just doing a little bit of first hand experimentation because I had not actually played with that list before. So it's kind of a way to look at what is there, but it doesn't actually act as a fast travel. What I was actually testing was to see if. You know, if it says unexplored, it would make sense that I couldn't fast travel there. But let's say maybe that, oh, I found an outpost or I found, maybe I found that mine and I traveled there once before. Just like a game like Fallout or the Elder Scrolls games or a lot of RPGs, if I've been there before, then I then I can fast travel to them. That doesn't seem to be the case here. But what I want to show you at least the combat and looting really quick before we end this video. So let me go back. And mark at back button. Stoke the fire, Stoke fire at 100%. and then we're just going to travel east a few spaces a and see if we can't find something. Alright, we're going to go east, we're just going to go east until I run into something. And I'm going fast just to, for the video. Seventeen dot zero units, food, okay. eleven units, compass, movie. We're still good magic on tap, food and water. Movies, magic tap water. Sixteen dot zero units, food, eleven units, compass, move east, magic tap, move east, magic tap water, fifteen dot zero units, Nothing food, yet. Movies, magic tap for map, move east, map a strange bird. Okay, here we're gonna do a combat. So the way this works, and it took me a while to figure it out too. I thought you would just hit the button fast. Again, everything is based on meters, so I think the higher the meter, maybe the more strength of the more success rate you have. So, strange bird speeds across the plains. Ready button. All right, let's ready. Ready. Battle. Two finger double tap. Magic tap to start and stop battle. battle so I currently paused. Available commands are based on what items you selected when you embarked. Right. So, if depending on what weapons, what armor, you know, what my defense stra stats are, my attack stats, those types of things, how much food I brought with me, if I need to heal. Okay. Button. Okay. Oh, thirty of thirty hit points. Battle started. Magic tap to pause. Th battle paused. Okay. Magic so I paused. So now I can freely look around without getting wailed on. A strange bird speeds across the plains. Now, if I flick to the right. Twenty-seven of thirty hit points. 27 of 30 for me. Strange bird. Four of four hit points. Four of four, so I should be able to waste him pretty easily. Plus 10 HP. Food. 10 at 100%. Button. So I'm ready. I can eat something if I want to bring up 10. Battle will automatically start if used. Okay, so it'll automatically start if I use that. Stab at 100%. Button. So I have my bone Stab spear. Bone spear. That is at 100%, so we're going to double tap that. We're going to attack him. Stab at 0%. Now I'm just going to touch. Oh god, I took him out for 3. And stab at 100%. And you're dead. Sweet. Yep, because I got my precision and strength in there. Now I can loot. So now, 27 of 30. Strange bird, hit points. Hmm. Loot. Button. Loot. Loot. Loot found. What can I loot? Rucksack. 100 scales. So on the left hand side, 
is the bird, and on the right hand side is me. Now in the top middle, let's start at the top. Loot found. Equipment. Rucksack. 130 out of 200 total capacity. 130 out of 200, so I can't go over 200. Scales. Amount. One. On the ground. Scales. Teeth. Amount. One. On meat. Amount. Two. On the ground. Teeth. Amount. Scales. Amount. One. On the ground. I guess I'll take a scale. Take equipment. Rucksack. Teeth. Amount. Take one teeth. Button. How much teeth do we have? Amount. Zero. On the ground. Okay, so... What is my weight limit here? Equipment. Rucksack. 150 out of 200 total okay. capacity. Meat. Amount. Two. On the ground. I should be able to take two take meat. meat. Button. Take one equipment. Take one meat. Button. Take one meat. And now I think we're going to have to equipment. hightail it. Rucksack. Current weight. Because we got to... Out of 200. Continue. Button. Continue. Now we got to head back west. home. Magic. Because our fire is probably... Magic. Water. 13. Dot. Move west. Magic. Water. 12.0 units. Food. 10 units. Compass. Points northwest. Unexplored. Three clicks north. Unexplored. Move west. I gotta magic, go back like west. what? Magic tap water. Move A few west. more times. A snarling beast. Oh, okay. On the way home, I get a beast. I gotta fight real quick. Button. Ready. Alright, we're gonna fight this guy. Okay. 20, 27 of 30 hit points. Snarling beast. Five of five hit points. Five of five. Stab at 100 percent We're still at pretty good health, so we're gonna stab at five percent. Okay. So we Hit for five. One, snarling beast. Two of five hit points. Twenty-six of thirty hit points. To repeat, one damage stab at fifty percent. Button. Let's wait stab for that. With bone spear. Enemy miss. Oh. Stab at ninety-five percent. Ninety-five. Button. Stab at ninety-five percent. Stab oh. ready. All right. Stab at one. Stab is ready. Button. Stab at zero percent. Boom! Kicked your butt. Battle one. Killing blow did three damage. Okay. Button. All right. Well, okay. Uh, what is my capacity here? Loot. Button. Let's loot. loot. Now, again, I'm not Equipment. flicking. I'm doing this very quickly for the sake of the video because we are going pretty long here, but... Loot found. Equipment. Rucksack. 160 out of 200 total 160. Capacity. So I've got a little bit of room. For amount. One. On meat. Amount. Three. Teeth. Amount. One. So on meat I can get pretty easily. Take one fur. Button. Let's take that fur. Equipment. That's going to be a little heavy. Current loot found. Equipment. Rucksack. 170 out of 200 total So capacity. a fur must cost... That must below. cost 10 weight. Teeth. Amount. One. On the ground. Yeah, let's take, take the teeth. teeth. Ta equipment. Rucksack. Current weight. How much? Amount. Three. Uh, take one meat. Let's Button. take a meat. Ta equipment. Loot found. Equipment. Rucksack. 190 out of 200 total. We can take one more meat. To take one meat. Button. Take one. Uh, equipment. can I get? Loot found. Equipment. Rucksack. 200 out of 200 total. Yep, capacity. I have to leave that last Item. one. Continue. Button. So we'll continue. continue. We go move back west. west. Magic tap. Move west. Magic tap. Water. Move west. Magic tap. For Oh, our room is really button. low. <laughs> Look at how dark our screen is. Stoke Let's stoke that fire. The fire is burning. Stoke fire at 20%. Okay, so yeah, we did, we got back just in time. That second ambush didn't help our. So we're still not there yet. There we go. Let's go back to my village. Get some more wood. And that's, like I said, I still collect wood and I collect resources from the trappers, but it's just every so often if I'm in town, you know, periodically, I will go and do the manual, like, okay, drain the meter for, you know, me doing my part as well. So I'll collect another 18 wood and then whatever traps I collect from. Cart wood at 100%. Button. All right, we'll cart that again. Plus 18 wood. Back Let's go back. back button. A fire lit room. Heading. Let's look at our supplies. 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 Leather. Meat. 1873. Rose. Let's one see. Wood. 25,000. All right, 25,000. Nice. Fur. 93. Meat. 1873. Nice. Scales. 450. Teeth. 133. Cloth. 23. Bait. 3. I gotta make more cloth. Leather, eight hundred seventy-three. Oh, good. Oh, what do we a got here? Shuffles in, a nomad shuffles into view, laden with makeshift bags bound with rough twine. Won't say from where he came. The prices are good, however. Four options. Give me iron or steel, dang it. Buy scales, twenty fur. Buy teeth, thirty fur. Buy bait, ten fur. Button. Um. Buy teeth, thirty fur. Button. Buy scales, twenty fur. Buy teeth, thirty fur. But buy bait, ten fur. But buy teeth, thirty. Let's buy some more teeth, I suppose. The deal is done. 
leave. But um, I gotta look at my. Lost. So you get the idea. I look at my stats here. Let me look merchant merchant real quick. What do I need to make? Iron cost thirty four five scales button. Okay, so I need scales. Iron cost thirty four five scales button. To make iron. Steel cost thirty four five scales five. Oh shoot! I guess I should. Oh wait, what? Steel cost thirty four five scales five teeth button. Okay, so I do need teeth for. Steel and then iron. I need. Iron cost thirty-four. Okay, so scales. iron and steel. I need a lot of scales and a lot of teeth. Yes, I know. I get email. Scales. Yay me. Button. Um, so really, that's. <laughs> I know we didn't really explore outside of the village too much. Um. But honestly, that's kind of what my experience has been so far. I've spent the vast majority of time, I didn't even go out and explore all that much. I, I really concentrated on, because um, like I said, I was having trouble um, just collecting the resources. And so I needed more huts to attract more villagers so that I would have more citizens, or as they call them, slaves. But... Um, you know, I wanted to keep my wood supply up both so I could build things and keep my fire going. Update. The fire is burning. So, right. So, <laughs> with the fire is burning, it's not blazing anymore. Um, I really concentrated. Now, you could probably, you know, defer that a little bit. And you could probably go out and explore Update. a little the bit earlier. But um, I figured I wanted to get my home base as cranked up as I could. The only thing is, I wish I could. Uh, I wish I could hire one of my people to be like the fire stoker, so that when the fire goes down, like, because uh, what I don't know what hap what, what would happen if I left on a journey, I traveled pretty far away, and then I came back. Maybe I got ambushed on the way back, like we did here this last time. And then the fire went Back out. Fire I don't have any control heading. over that when I'm gone. Stoke fire at and it seems button. to go pretty Stoke dang up. fast. Fire fire at I mean, I know you have different stages. You have blazing, burning, and then when I came back, it was pretty low. I think if it would have gone one more stage, it might have gone out. But, you know, by the time we got back in that last journey yeah. there... The room is hot. Um, you know, like I said, I don't... I don't I don't know. I've never died um, or never let the fire go down. So I don't know what happens when the fire goes down. If you, if it's game over or if you have some time before that happens and maybe just, I think the light keeps some creatures out because now what I haven't mentioned is there are, you know, you see these periodic dialogue boxes that come up with like merchants and travelers come to there but sometimes, like, there'll be a rustling in your stores, and you have to you find out that some critter has taken your, taken some supplies, or there's, like, you know, broken wood, and then there's some teeth you collect or whatever. But then you hear these, like, dreams every once in a while where something will happen, and, like, oh, you get restless sleep, and you have these visions of this girl, and I don't, I don't even know what the end game for this is. Presumably, if I had to guess you're probably trying to find this girl that in, is in your dreams that's been alluded to on a few dialogue boxes, especially early on. There was a lot more of that uh, than there is now. But Baraka's village. it's... Baraka's, Baraka's village. I don't know. Um, update. Plus it's interesting. Check traps I wish... At check traps at 100%. Update. I wish that the... Hush. I wish that the uh, fire didn't go down quite as quickly when you were on the road. Or at the very least, like I said, I'm not sure there was a indicator. Like, I know you wouldn't necessarily know that. If I was taking a wagon or walking away from my campsite, I wouldn't know how well my village is doing, obviously, because I'm gone. But video games, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's, you're just managing a bunch of meters and stuff like that, so it's kind of... You know, how long... I still haven't gotten a firm sense of how long you can be gone before things get rough. And even when the fire goes really dead, I don't know what happens. And I would really hate to lose 
everything. Because if I do, I guarantee you I'm probably not going to play this game ever again. If I just, oh, the fire goes out and I die, and I lost all the little work that I've done over the last couple of days just here and there putzing around with the app. This is one I want to try to, if I'm going to finish it, I'm going to finish it, and I'm probably not going to start it again because it's, like I said, there's fun to be had as far as, like, yeah, you know, it's, you know, there's this whole thing of, like, watching your meters get bigger and whatever. But I'm curious what happens, like, you know, when I find, you know, it's just going to be little text boxes, I'm sure, but, um, you know, what's going to happen when I leave the village? What kind of things will I find? Like, I found huts, I found caves, I fought some creatures. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to end up trying to find this lady. Um you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of curious to see what happens outside of the village. Because right now, I mean, my village is pretty much, you know, self-sustaining. I mean, I'm, with my villagers, I'm raking the wood in. Um, I don't, the only thing I really will have to build is traps if they break. Unless, knock on wood, <laughs> unless there's like, uh, maybe a fire happens and then I have to rebuild some huts. That would suck. But, you know, I could see, foresee maybe a random event like that happening. Um, okay, we got another event. With an empty cart. Says if he leaves with wood, he'll be back with more. Builder's mm. not sure he's to be trusted. Three options. Uh, well, we're, we're going to go all or bust. Um, I have a bunch of wood. Big gamble. 500 wood. Button. Let's gamble. Because I... Waiting with patience. The wanderer doesn't return. Shoot. One option. No, I should have two options. Leave empty handed. Button. I should have hunt him down and kill him. Leave empty handed. All right. Button. So that okay, specific lost, event has happened wood. to me exactly the same way twice. So I don't know if that's going to change, but I guess if somebody offers to give me wood, give them wood and I'll get more in return. That just might be a bust, but it seemed like the the fur thing paid off. I don't know if that changes, but like I said, I've had the wood thing happen to me twice, exactly the same way. Um, let's go. Cart wood. I mean, I still have. If I go to supplies, I still have twenty eight thousand. I remember when it was a struggle to get over a hundred wood. Just plain old 100. I remember when that was a huge trouble. <laughs> um, so we're, you know, we're doing fine. Even losing 500 is like, meh, whatever. Because I have everything built. Um, but yeah, that is a dark room. Not sure where it's going. Um, but there are some interesting mechanics here. Um... Like I said, I thought it was, at first, I thought it was just like a clicker where I'm, you know, because like I said, a lot of those, the way they work is you manually click on something, usually to kill it, because you're attacking monsters or something. Usually you click, 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 click. You're doing it yourself, but then eventually you get unlocks and then you get little boosts or followers or whatever that'll basically do some of the clicking for you. And then if you want to, you can click, or you, you don't have to click as fast. Update. The fire is burning. Or your Facebook things, you know, where, you know, like the whole, what was it, like Farmville and Mafia Wars, those kind of things where it's like, oh, well, let's just watch a couple, you know, you click on this thing with this button, and then the meter gets bigger. You know, it's like, pfft, well, there's no, there's no skill. The room is warm. There's no real gameplay to that. Um... Other than just watching meters get bigger, I mean, I, I tried that kind of thing back in you know back in the day. I'm ashamed to admit it. I tried Mafia Wars for a short while. Um, yeah, it was really dumb. Um, not one of my prouder moments as a gamer, but there you go. I said it. I admitted it. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's the thing. So there is actually more skill to this because you have to figure out like, how do I want to spend my resources, especially in the beginning when you're struggling just to keep up, A fire -like room. uh, you know, just to keep up with, stoke fire at let's stoke the fire stoke here the fire and then we'll stop room. the game here. Double tap to open. 
a dark room. Closing a dark room. Closing accessible. Game so, folder. you know, I, there is more to it than that. You know, um, like I said, there were times where it was like, okay, I'm gonna, I just stoked the fire. And I think I can build up with the resources that I have. I think if I build this hut really fast, or I build this trade post really fast right away, and then I go back and manually collect wood and, you know, have my gatherers collect their stuff every 10 minutes, I should be okay by the time the fire goes down again enough where I can stoke the fire again. You know, there were points where it was like kind of that sort of, you know, risk as far as, hmm, you know, when do I use this resource and how do I use it? Um, I guess really for me now it's mainly just getting iron and steel because, you know, I really need more resources. And I, I, I got to figure out if there's another way to, like I said, make some of my villagers stoke the fire when I'm away. I don't know, but uh, that is a dark room. It is available for iOS. I think it's a couple of bucks. It, I think it's a paid game i it's been a while since i purchased it but even if it is it's cheap you know there are no in-app transactions you don't have to you know there's no microtransactions. you don't have to buy for currency or buy for your meters to go faster you buy it you play it you just manage the resources like you would in a regular game so that part i highly respect so yeah, I mean, surprisingly, as the game has gone on, it is actually fairly deep um, for kind of a little button, especially for like a little button and, you know, meters and just a few little... It seems really deceptively simple at first, but it kind of grows on you, and there's actually a little bit more to keep track of than you would originally think. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. And until next time... I will talk to you guys again later. Screen dimmed.